In five minutes, let me prove to you that the Bible is a bunch of nonsense for brainless people. Exodus chapter 9 verse 6. The Bible began to speak, it says, in the fifth week, God killed all the livestock of the Egyptians. Mark the word, all. All their goats, all their cow, all their horses. And that same God came down to Exodus chapter 14 verse 9 and began to speak, it says, And Pharaoh went after the Israelites when they had fled with 600 chariots, 600 horses and his chariots. Excuse me, sir. God killed all the livestock living in Egypt on the, on, the, on the fifth week in Exodus chapter 9 verse 6. And in Exodus chapter 14 verse 9, Pharaoh still have 600 horses to pursue after the Israelites. This is a bunch of nonsense for unreasonable human beings. Joshua chapter 10 verse 12 to 13. The Bible began to speak, it says, And Joshua said to the Lord, let the sun stand still over Gibeon and let the moon over Ashlon. And the sun stood still until the Israelites won their enemies. Excuse me, sir. We all know today that the reason why there is day and night is because the earth is rotating and not the sun. The sun is a stationary, a stationary body which never moves at all. So if there are to be any miracle consisting in making the day longer, Joshua would have asked the Lord to pause the speed of the earth rotation and not the, and not the sun because the sun never moves for one day. The sun is a, st a stationary body living on its own. Bible is a bunch of nonsense for brainless human. Journey with me again to the book of Proverbs 15 verse 3. The Bible God begins to speak. It says, I, the eyes of the Lord is in every, every place, keeping watch on the good of and on, on good and evil. That means the Bible God is claiming omni, omniscient, omni knowers. He sees all the activities that happens on the earth realm. He came down again to Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. He says, I am God and there is no one like me. Only I can tell you the future before it happens. For everything I plan happens the way I planned it. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. This is God claiming all-knowing, all-knowing ability. And that same God came down to Genesis 18 verse 20 and began to say it. And the Bible says, and God says to Abraham, Genesis 18 verse 20, I've heard a great cry against Sodom and Gomorrah because, because of their sin, which is too fragrant. I want to go down to confirm if their wickedness is as great as I, as I have heard. If not, I want to know. Excuse me, sir. The only no one's God no one to come down to go to Sodom and Gomorrah to verify if accusation he heard about a nation is true. He cannot detect that from where he's living in the sky. He has to. And at a certain point, he begins to negotiate with Abraham. He says, "If only I can see 50 righteous people in this community, I will no longer destroy them." That means this Bible God lacked the ability to know within his own self whether there are 50 righteous men in that community if he was not verified by Abraham. That same God who told that um, uh, my eyes is everywhere keeping watch on good and evil. In the book of Proverbs 15 verse 3 was the same person who was watching Cain kill his brother Abel. And later he came out to ask uh, uh, Cain. He says, Cain, where is your brother Abel? For the blood of your, of your brother is crying upon my head. That means that Bible God was somewhere watching uh, uh, Cain kill Abel and he, he kept that calm. You see, that same Bible God came to Job chapter 1 verse 8 and began to negotiate with Satan. He says, have you not seen my servant Job? Have you not seen my servant Job who have been faithful, righteous and perfect in all his ways? And Satan doubted God. He says, did, did uh, Job fear you for nothing? Have you not put an edge all around him so that nothing can penetrate him? And the Bible declared that God gives Satan. He says, told to Satan, he says, go ye and do it, Job, whatever your soul desire, but don't touch his soul. So God offered Job as a gambling to Satan to go and play with his wealth, peace of mind and life just to verify, to know if, Satan, if Job will, will disappoint him. So God tempted men, knowing fully well that men, you know, who, God who have ability to know the future, to see how or the depth of the heart of people, equally put those people to test, to know whether what he thought about them is reality. Yes. You see that God knows nothing about you. He is just praying, gambling on you. This is a shadow boxing. That God is an illusion and does not exist. It's just a carved out European ideology to control or to rule the world. That is the government of the day. The, that's why the pastors today are called man of God. Man of God is simply a man of the government. The, does, the man of the government does a great work in shifting the responsibility of the government to an unexisting Satan. That's why the government can never fight against the church.